So hello today, we're going to try something different um, with this video. We're going to actually demonstrate you the perfect way to manage a ledge that's been created during root canal using these fantastic extracted teeth that I've prepared for the video today. So a ledge is really, really commonly found um, during root canal. It's when you get that kind of hard stop that can't get quite to the end of the tooth. You can see here diagrammatically that the that a ledge is something that's been created by your instruments that doesn't follow the path of the canal. The best way to manage a ledge is to create a small bend at the end of your hand file rather than bending the whole length of the hand file. And you can do that by um, using a pair of tweezers or you can do it the posh way by using these endo benders which creates like a really nice arc on the end of the file which um, is, is better than using a pair of tweezers because sometimes that can sort of create like a kink that might be an increased risk to file fracture. Once you've made that little bend at the end of the file, you're gonna just walk the file down the canal and then you're gonna sort of move the file in a 365 degree uh, motion until you just push past the end of the ledge, as, as you can see here. Once you're past the ledge, the worst thing to do is to pull the file out. Once you're past the ledge, keep it there and then you're gonna use um, very, very slight in and out movements with your hand file and what that does, it kind of just tries to shape or smooth off the ledge. It's not going to get rid of the ledge completely, but it's going to smooth it off. The risk, of course, is of blockage. So what's really, really important here is that you irrigate. Okay, so once you feel like you've softened the ledge out enough, you're going to irrigate and then you're going to get the hand file back down again. Again, remember, we're going to walk it down the canal and then you're going to drop past the ledge and then really, really quick in and out motions. The, like I said before, you're not going to completely get rid of the ledge straight away. That's going to come with the rotary files. But at this point, um, the rotary files are probably not going to get past the ledge. So you're just trying to sort of smooth off the acute angle of uh, of this ledge. So once you get a hand file, um, once you get a rotary file down there, that's just going to sort of sort of skip past the ledge, as as you can see just here. Um, the type of rotary file I usually use for ledges are ones with a smaller diameter or a smaller taper. So this one here is a 2004, and that usually uh, is 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 small enough for me just to push past the ledge. Once you've used a rotary file, you can use a high diameter rotary file. This one is a 25 variable high flex, and it is just gliding past the ledge here, and the outer edge of that curve on that file is just it's just shaped it completely and as you can see here we've removed um, the uh, all of the detritus and, and irrigated and the canal is nicely shaped listen if you really really like these videos I really really like making them so um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or any criticisms please in the comments below just go ahead and I'll always answer every comment. Okay, nice to see you and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.